Hey guys, Agent of here, and welcome back to another video. So, I just realized that um, Valentine's Day is this weekend, and I don't know how I'm supposed to top last year's video, but I wanted to review Gumball for a very long time, so let's talk about Gumball's The Show. Getting right into it, the episode starts off with the school performing a school play. After two favorite goofballs finish their little parts, it cuts to Penny and Gumball ending the play with the infamous school kiss. For those who haven't watched Gumball, then as a short end summary, Gumball has, has a crush on Penny and has done some questionable things to impress her. And for being that approachable yet awkward self that was the early bit of Gumball, he gets nervous as the play is about to finish and everyone is going to watch him complete his dream. Yes, he, he he's dreamed at this moment, people. Like I already said, in the first few seasons of Gumball, is just awkward around Penny, which I'm completely fine with, and it will make sense as the series goes on. But this episode is not called a show for no reason. Oh heavens, call 911, we have a nutcracker. <laughs> a nutcracker. So Gumball cracks her shell and he panics for obviously good reasons. And again, they would be furious because they are overprotected of her. But Penny does like Gumball for being his idiotic, selfish, carefree- Uh, why does she love him again? Uh, maybe, maybe I'm just looking- okay, whatever. Anyways, Gumball feels guilty as trash for cracking her shell. And Penny, being the only responsible one, realizes she's not going to be able to hide um, the, sh the crack and faces the music. And as Gumball, Darwin, and Penny are going to Penny's house, they ask her what's the glow inside of her. Go nuts. Don't worry, young lady. I am the nutcracker! <laughs> oh, it's funny, because I cracked your shell. <laughs> uh... Jeez, man, Gumball just taking, <laughs> taking my jokes from my uh, script. Gumball has a shallow history, if you will, with Penny's father. And it doesn't help the fact that he cracked her shell. So Gumball tries to ease the mood, but unfortunately he rages like Pink Steven, and Gumball is kicked out of the house. After this scene, you can clearly see Gumball being really depressed. I won't be the only one to say that Gumball can be pretty selfish at times, but seeing him act nice towards Penny is pretty wholesome. The pace of this episode can be pretty- it feels rushed at times, but it gets really redeemable. Penny sneaks out of her house, as those teenage girls do in there, in those weird moods, and tells Gumball she is going to be moving schools. While this episode is more episodic in the way that it's less humorous and more commentary based, the episode tries to crack in a few jokes, as that's just Gumball's nature. Gumball encourages Penny to not be afraid of what other people think of her or perceive her as her, and with that, she completely sheds her shell. Penny glistens from her transformation. Gumball is astonished from how she looks, but Penny, being pretty emotional from what her parents have warned her, thinks Gumball doesn't like her for who she is and runs off. And with that, Gumball chases after her. From just the chase alone, we get a simple taste of what Penny can do. Her emotions control how she appears and what she becomes. Being trashed around by innocent bystanders and her father even, she flies to the forest to be hidden away. I love seeing Gumball here, like sticking up for Penny. The voice acting as well is fantastic for Gumball's character and asserting his weirdly appropriate message, but still showing that Penny's father isn't that bad for being overprotective. In here, we get the funniest bit of this episode. Like, I, I don't know whether it's another viewing of Banana Barbara's panning powers, or just seeing what Banana Joe does on his Friday nights, but this part is the funniest in the episode, one of my favorites. But moving past that, the chase is about to conclude as the pet control catches up to the two. We see Penny's father stall for some time. Like, again, it's not like Penny's father Man, I really wish I could say his name, but, but anyway. It's not like for the future he'll accept Gumball for who he is, but it's nice to see for like half the episode that he treats him fairly. Gumball catches up with Penny, they meet in the forest, and we get that real ending the crappy play. From that, Penny can understand that Gumball accepts her for who she is, and she'll have him when um, she's down. And with that, that was the show. Overall, I really like the show. Sure, I am more of a fan of the comedy-based episodes of Gumball, but I can say for certain, it feels good to watch some of these episodes where it dives more into the characters. But Gumball has such a diverse world, and a mysterious one for that, and they can such have done a lot with this world. Like, it's it's tremendous. So these storylines, whether it's The Void, The Shell, I'm all for. But what do you think of The Shell? Do you think it's really good, or do you think it's bad? Let me know down below in the comments. If you want me to do more Gumball videos, let me know also down below in the comments. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.